In this video, we're going to take a look at Jackery's newest solar generator edition, the Jackery Explorer 2000 Plus. If you're familiar with Jackery's lineup of products, you're going to notice a lot of new features when compared to their previous models, including their first model to have lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry for more charge cycles and longer life. The battery capacity can be expanded with additional batteries, and you can tie two Jackery Explorer 2000 Plus models together, enabling you to output 240 volts at 25 amps. In this video, we're going to go over the specs and features. We're going to discuss what it can power. We'll review the test results. And at the end, I'll give you my final thoughts after years of testing these devices. If at any time during the video you're interested in checking out one of these units, I'll post a link in the description and comments section below. So let's jump in. Let's start off by running through the specs and then we'll look at what it can power. Let's look at each unit as a standalone model and then we'll review how these perform when tied together. Now on the front, you'll notice four AC output ports that are capable of outputting 20 amps at 120 volts or 2400 watts and one AC output port which can output 25 amps at 120 volts or 3000 watts. So what does that mean? Traditionally, home wall sockets can output 15 or 20 amps. So these plugins are comparable in capability to what you'd have in your home wall sockets. The 25 amp plugin, on the other hand, is a type of plugin typically utilized to power RVs or heavy duty appliances. It's also worth noting that this model is the upgraded version of their 2000 Pro shown here. The 2000 Pro was designed more for outdoor and on the go usage where you might wanna keep weight to a minimum. This new 2000 Plus model is primarily geared toward home backup power usage, evident in the fact that they are using lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry, which is another first for Jackery, which is designed for far more charge cycles in a longer lifespan. While lithium iron phosphate batteries are heavier, this isn't really problematic for this model as it's clearly geared more toward powering your home. Also, you've got two USB-A and two USB-C plugins, along with a 12 volt plugin on the front. Also, it has a retractable handle and wheels to make it easier to move around. Now, stated a moment ago, this unit can output 3000 watts or 25 amps. This is the highest output of any Jackery power station matched only by the Jackery 3000 Pro. As shown here, I plugged in a 25 amp plug-in and connected it to the transfer switch that powers my office. And while connected, I can power my computer and my air conditioner at the same time. If you need to power your refrigerator during a power outage, this can be run inside your home as it produces no fumes. It can power an induction plate to heat up water to boil, a portable space heater, a hair dryer, a grinder, a one wheel ultra charger, or a saw. As shown here, you can even power an electric welder. And with this unit, you can power 99% of your household appliances. This connector hub is yet another first for Jackery. Their connector hub has one 30 amp plug-in and one 50 amp plug-in that can both output a maximum of 30 amps at 240 volts when the two units are tied together. In mentioning the 50 amp plug-in, please note that while they give you a 50 amp plug-in receptacle, it's only gonna output a 30 amp maximum. If you're looking for an option to power critical loads in your home after the grid goes down, this can meet most of those needs. And to top it all off, it's quite at just 30 decibels at 500 watts of output. So let's take a look at the battery expansion capabilities. Shown here, I've added two of their expansion batteries. Each of the 2000 plus models can handle an additional five battery expansion packs in total, with each battery capable of holding two kilowatt hours each, which means that you can expand each 2000 plus model up to 12 kilowatt hours of storage. Now, if you have two of their 2000 plus models tied together with their connector hub and 10 battery packs, you can expand up to a whopping 24 kilowatt hours. Another new feature Jackery introduced on this unit is their app, which allows you to connect it via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, which is a great option if you need to control or monitor it remotely. As shown here, I can monitor the status of the device, can turn off and on the AC and DC ports, along with being able to monitor the expansion batteries. Additionally, you can control charge settings and other miscellaneous features. And when it comes to charging, this model can accept 1800 watts of AC input. You can charge it from a standard AC wall socket plug-in from zero to 100% in about an hour and a half from a wall socket. You also have two charging speed options on their app, either a fast charging mode that enables you to pull in 1800 watts or 1600 watts when charging on their quiet mode. Additionally, it can accept 1400 watts of solar input in a range of 17.5 volts to 60 volts at 24 amps. Now shown here, I've got 1200 watts of Jackery Solar Sega 200 watt solar panels connected to one of the units. If you have two units, in effect, you could accept 2,800 watts of solar in total. Now, the weight comes in at 62 pounds. 
There is a bump in weight due to the battery chemistry when compared to the 2000 Pro model. The Pro model comes in at just 35 pounds, but as mentioned earlier, it uses lithium ion battery chemistry, but is only rated to 70% capacity after 2000 charge cycles. Lithium iron phosphate batteries, on the other hand, which the Plus model uses, is rated for 4,000 cycles to 70% capacity. So in other words, you get a lot more charge cycles for this battery chemistry, which is why most manufacturers are switching over to this. Again, this is Jackery's first lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry model. Also, as mentioned earlier, it has a capacity of two kilowatt hours. For practical purposes, that means it could power a device that pulls two kilowatts for about an hour. Well, not exactly one hour due to these inverters not being 100% efficient, but that's the basic concept. This induction plate pulls 1,000 watts, so I could, in effect, power it a little over an hour and a half with the Jackery. Some devices, such as sensitive electronics like computers or servers, they use UPS backup power batteries to ensure that they can continue to operate if the power goes down. Now, Jackery has what's called EPS, or an emergency power source. As shown here, if we have a light bulb plugged into this Jackery, which is providing power to the light bulb from a wall socket power source, if we remove the AC power source, there's less than a 20 millisecond power disruption. Now, the battery switches over to continue providing power in this scenario. And this would be useful for people that use medical devices that need to continue operating if the power were to go down. A UPS is just a battery and will eventually run out of power, whereas a unit like this can be continually powered from solar panels while still providing power to whatever it is plugged into. For all the units I review, I like to run them through a series of tests to help me understand how efficient they are. This helps me to compare them against other units on the market. Now I've documented all this information in a spreadsheet which I'll link to below. For AC efficiency, I put this under a 75% load. And since it can output 2,400 watts continuously, I put it under a load of 1,800 watts and then recorded the total output in watts. After testing this unit out, it drained all the way to 0%. And the total output was 1.71 kilowatt hours, 1,710 the total output in watts, divided by 2,042 watt hours, which is the total capacity of the battery, gives us an efficiency of 84%. This is definitely a solid number for AC efficiency. And for DC, we ran a similar test. After draining it down, it outputs a total of 1,769 watt hours, giving us an efficiency of 87%, which is very respectable. Additionally, while putting it under load, it produces a pure sine wave. If you run sensitive electrical devices, this unit can safely power them. Again, you can compare these numbers against all the other units on the market by referencing my spreadsheet. So here are my final thoughts on this unit. Jackery has really come a long way with this particular model. I've seen various functionalities and upgrades added to these types of devices over the last few years, but in just one model, Jackery has really brought their lineup to be very competitive. This model has five significant updates over their previous models. It's got lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry for a much longer lifespan. It's got expandability, allowing you to go all the way up to 24 kilowatt hours of battery capacity. It has a 25 amp plug-in on the front, which gives you more power from the unit. It has app connectivity or Wi-Fi, not just Bluetooth. And finally, you can tie it together with another Jackery to output 240 volts. Again, these are all features I've slowly seen rolled out with different manufacturers, but Jackery incorporate them all just in this model. So in my opinion, this is easily Jackery's biggest update I've seen in the last several years of reviewing their products. I can easily say it's probably one of their best models to date. So if you're interested in checking this out, from June 19th to July 10th, you can use the coupon code PLUS PREPPING to get a 9% discount for this unit. It's batteries and solar panels. I'll provide details in the description and comment section below to all those items. So what do you think? Is this a model that's a step forward for Jackery? Would you like to see different functionalities in their future models? Feel free to post your comments and ideas below. As always, stay safe out there.